So let's talk about the um, my touring bike setup here and specifically the lighting and USB power. So this year I've upgraded, I've put in a, um, a hub dynamo. It's down here, it's a Sun uh, hub dynamo. I've changed, um, to, what you get with these is a spade connector. So instead I'm using this coaxial connection. It's something you can buy. Um, handy when you're taking wheels on and off because you can just disconnect. Uh, take your wheel off and when you want to get back on you just plug that in just like that uh, the, the lead in then goes up along the fork I've made little bands here just get an old tube chop it up I've got a nice and neat um, cable retention then the lead goes into top tube bag let me get around that side so the lead from um, the fork is this one of these here which then gets into the into the bag itself and uh, let me jump around the other side because the light beam is a bit better and in here i've got i've a junction box well not really a box but i've got my my junction so to the right of that as you i've got my let me take this white lead out of the way to the right of that that's the connection coming from the dynamo and then to the left, I've got two outputs. The one with the yellow, that's going to my USB um, rectifier. And the other one, which you can sort of see there, is going to my lights. Now, <clears throat> during the night, what I can do is um, disconnect the dynam sorry, the, the USB. So there you go, that's disconnected. So now I can run my lights fully off the uh, dynamo so the output of that or go, goes from there goes out that other out the hole of the top tube bag it comes around here and it goes into the input of the front light it's a um exposure um I forget which model it is but exposure lights anyways a dynamo light the front one and then if i spin the wheel just to show you get a bit of power going as you can see it's starting to come on the output of the exposure light then um goes out of the out of it and then along the top tube and into the back here where you've got um rear light i also run a um, radar light back here and that's my lighting setup so then if I want to, during the day, what I can do is I can disconnect here. So I just take out the output and then just tidy away that lead. Um, okay, so I've now disconnected the input. And then within the bag here, I might need to go off camera for a second while I just plug this in. Apologies, while I... Uh, just uh it's a kind of a two-handed job so to plug in the usb supply which i've just done there you go and that then goes into i've got it it's nice and neat in here actually because on the right side of the bag there's a little pocket and down in here i've got my rectifier which is a sine wave revolution the input on the left here is the ac from the dynamo the right hand side gives me 5 volt output and that then goes to um, what we call a, a cash battery or it's a power bank. Um, thing to watch these power banks, make sure you get one which does pass through charging. That means that you can both um, charge this power bank from the dynamo but also charge your phone or whatever other device um, via one of those other ports. Now, to test this out, so I've disconnected my front light. I can run the whole lot together as well, by the way. I don't have to disconnect stuff, but right now I'm, I'm only plugged in my um, battery. So just spin the wheel here, um, get a bit of um, power generation going. So what I should see is, it takes um, a little bit of time, I don't know, half a minute or less for, um, enough power to be to generate to, to start to power up my power bank here uh, 
should kick into life. There you go. So that's um, my power bank now getting charged from. I uh, just give another spin there. Power bank getting charged from the the dynamo, and then I know it gets it's getting charged um, when it starts um, to spool it up here again. And what I'm doing here is I'm just spinning up the the wheel. As you can see, it's very little resistance. Costs you very little um, wattage. Um, well, of course, this thing is not going to charge in 10 minutes. So it's all about slow charging. So during the day, hours in the bike, there you go. See, it's flashing. That means it's charging. So, um, And then what I can do then is it's quite a neat setup here. Um, so to the left here in the uh, top tube bag is the junction box. To the right then, as I showed earlier, is the rectifier. And in the middle then... Um, I just took away this wire. In the middle then is my uh, power bank. And I still have loads of room in there for maybe some snacks or whatever else. And zip it up. And um, that is my um, power setup. Um, so I said pretty neat. When I want to convert this bike back into, let's say, um, I want to go, I don't want all this stuff. Um, pretty straightforward, disconnect at the fork, disconnect um, or take off the light. It's just a simple clip underneath here. Um, take off the back light, store everything in the top tube bag and just pull away um, nice and neat. Um, so. Yeah, it takes, I don't know, a couple of minutes to get the whole thing set up again. And what I'll do now is, just so I don't remember, just have it all connected in. If I plug in my light here now, in theory, I should be able to, let me just spin up here and um, see if the light gets brighter. It sure does. So that's um, that's actually charging the um, USB and the front light. Front, there's actually it's multiple LEDs coming on there now and a, a really bright backlight. So that's charging the batteries and powering the lights all at once. So yeah, untested yet as in, I haven't gotten the tour, but happy with my setup. Um, so looking forward to the next bike tour.